Officials are double-checking levees in Mississippi and Louisiana this morning as floodwaters surge higher and threaten the delta there. Well, the future of Minnesota's most famous river is in danger. That's according to a new report that ranked the Mississippi among the most endangered in the country. What if I told you there's a shudder beneath America's heartland? One that isn't just splitting the riverbed, but can alter the fate of cities, farms, and millions from St. Louis to the Gulf. The Mississippi River, long revered as the country's artery of commerce and culture, is now facing ruptures in its underlying sediments so profound that experts call it a warning sign. A ticking time bomb echoed in our nation's history, geology, and urgent headlines. For generations, the river meant life. Fields sustained by its floods, cities protected by dams and levees, industries thriving along its path. But in 2025, widespread attention has shifted to the troubled depths beneath its muddy waters. New cracks are veining the ancient sediments, silent but unmistakable. Underwater sensors and seismic monitors have picked up subtle but unusual tremors, faint vibrations rippling through the substrata, hinting at restless forces below. The Mississippi, once taken as a symbol of steady strength, has been listed as America's most endangered river in 2025, and discussions about its future have never felt more urgent. For the first time, communities along its banks are reckoning with risk not just from above, floods, storms, drought, but from underfoot, and memories resurface, nearly two centuries old, of a winter so violent that the river's waters appeared to flow backward, the legacy of the largest earthquake in American history. Now, with the New Madrid Fault sending unmistakable signals and new fractures mapped beneath the river's bed, the question of danger is no longer theoretical. The ground is restless, the warnings are mounting, but will anyone listen before the river's secrets bring about sudden upheaval in the heartland? A river no longer at rest. For decades, the Mississippi River was synonymous with stability. Its meanders are constant against the landscape of change. But in 2025, that sense of security is shaken. Reports document growing evidence of fractures splitting the riverbed, suggesting the earth is stirring beneath familiar waters. It started with isolated, ambiguous seismic readings. Faint, off-pattern vibrations invisible to most, but flagged by watchful geologists from Iowa to Louisiana. Soon after, underwater camera footage captured the reality. Distinct cracks, some stretching astonishing distances, breaking apart layers of mud and clay that built the valley over countless generations. Envision muddy water swirling into the dark fissures, silt vanishing below, the vital lifeblood of the river disappearing into the depths. Here and there, shimmering bubbles rise, sometimes methane, perhaps, hinting at changes in the chemical makeup of the riverbed. Research drones scan fields of waving aquatic grass, bringing back images of fissures widening under the current. As scientists rush to interpret the evidence, debate rages over what these cracks might mean. Some see them as early warning signs, natural shifts amplifying as a delta collapses and a continental plate adjusts. Others voice graver concerns, pointing to the historical volatility of the New Madrid zone and the ever-present risk of significant earthquake activity. Suddenly, Americans have been forced to confront a new kind of hazard, one not limited to the West Coast, but looming over the agricultural and industrial corridors of the nation's heartland. The unsettling truth, the Mississippi now stands as the nation's most endangered river. Threatened not just by floods and drought, but by transformations that no levee or human barrier can fully control. What is truly driving the fractures beneath the surface? Are we witnessing the next chapter in a repeating natural cycle? Or the warning signs of a catastrophic event that might upend the Mississippi and those who rely upon it in a single dramatic moment? Silent faults and thundering echoes, the legacy of New Madrid. To grasp the risk facing the Mississippi, we must revisit the early 19th century. The great New Madrid earthquakes of 1811 to 1812 formed a seismic legend. Violent shocks so powerful that the river itself was temporarily forced to flow backward, altering the landscape in ways still visible today. The quakes, 
some with estimated magnitudes nearing 8.0, sent tremors rippling far beyond the Midwest, felling chimneys in Cincinnati, ringing bells in Boston, and creating islands and lakes where none had been before. Often treated as distant history, the New Madrid Fault remains very much alive. Recent years have brought renewed seismic activity in the region, prompting fresh concern among earthquake experts. In 2025, as sensors detect more frequent minor quakes and shifting patterns beneath the Mississippi Basin, discussion intensifies over what new tremors might foreshadow. Scientists remain divided. Some stress that the fault cycle is slow and unpredictable, its largest earthquake separated by centuries or longer. Others argue that each new fissure or tremor in the riverbed could be an early warning of energy still stored in the subsurface, a potential prelude to new seismic upheaval. The scars from 1811 and 1812 endure not just in the landscape, but in the river's very path, its bends and breaks sometimes reflecting ancient disruptions now hidden deep beneath the alluvial plain. Could another major earthquake force the Mississippi to reroute, flood cities, and reshape the Midwest as it did before? While experts agree the risk is real, no one can predict when or if such an event might occur. But it is now undeniable that the threat exists, and that today's cracks may be more than mere geological curiosity. The Cracks Beneath Secrets of America's Endangered River If the Mississippi's surface has always symbolized continuity, its recent subsurface fractures warn of instability and impending change. These are not trivial fault lines or minor curiosities, but significant breaches in the clay and silt, affecting the foundational support of the river and everything that depends on its stability. Beneath the water, Geologists and engineers have encountered dramatic changes. Slabs of sediment split apart, gas bubbles percolating through fault lines, sudden riverbed drops where all was once level. Instead of a riverbed gently shaped by erosion, they now find abrupt valleys and fresh gaps, evidence that the earth is shifting from within. Sensitive monitors have begun picking up persistent, low-frequency vibrations, deep rumbles whose origin is still under study. Sometimes these hums escalate into brief, sharper signals, unlike any generated by passing boats or natural turbulence. On several occasions, monitoring equipment has gone missing or been rendered inoperable in areas of active subsidence. More than one boy torn away from its moorings as the riverbank shifted without warning. And the threat is not confined to natural spaces. Cracks cross water intakes, shallow infrastructure, and the substructure of bridges. Places where stability is essential to commerce and community safety. In some cases, fractures reach beneath communities reliant on the river for everything, from drinking water to agricultural irrigation. Experts worry not just about subsidence and shifting channels, but about what the cracks might precipitate. Among the leading concerns are accelerated erosion, contamination risks, and the possibility of sinkholes in areas once thought safe. Though some degree of riverbed movement is natural, the frequency and magnitude now observed are unusual by historical standards raising difficult questions about what is sustainable and what may cross the line toward disaster. Can today's fissures be dismissed as part of the river's normal adaptation to change, or are they truly the threshold to something far more consequential? A collapsing delta, the sediment crisis, revealed. As these changes unfold beneath the Mississippi, another crisis has intensified in plain sight, the slow-motion collapse of the river's delta. For thousands of years, the annual floods carried vital sediment downstream, nourishing one of the world's richest wetland ecosystems. That legacy, however, is now threatened. According to satellite imagery and field studies, 
More than 80% of the river's sediment is prevented from reaching the delta by modern levees, dams and channelizations. Structures built with the goal of flood protection and navigation, but at an enormous ecological cost. Louisiana's coast in particular has been losing land at an alarming rate, with hundreds of thousands of acres vanished in just the past century. Wetlands that once expanded each year are now rapidly deteriorating, succumbing to both human alteration and rising seas. Salt water seeps in, marsh vegetation dies away, and vital wildlife habitats vanish. For communities dependent on fishing, shipping or tourism, each lost acre of wetland means a tangible blow to livelihoods and safety. Storms now pack a greater punch, their surge exacerbated by the delta's inability to replenish itself. Floods carve ever deeper wounds where new land should be formed. Towns that once sat comfortably above water are now menaced by encroaching tides and eroding shorelines. The ghost deltas observed, pale remnants in satellite images, shadows of land long lost, speak to a rapidly shrinking coastline. Without renewed sediment flows, even these traces may soon disappear, leaving only digital records behind. The prospect of reversing this loss is daunting. Some engineers advocate for massive sediment diversions, opening ancient channels, building new pipelines, and restoring at least part of the river's natural process. Others warn that, given how much has already changed, these interventions may come too late or yield only modest gains. Still, research and pilot projects continue. Urgent, hopeful experiments in the battle to buy time against erosion's relentless pace. The question remains, is the sediment deficit just a symptom or might it prove to be the fatal weakness that leaves the Mississippi Delta and the communities behind it? Subterranean aquifers and lost ice age water. An aspect that has captured scientific imagination in recent years is the discovery of ancient aquifers, vast reserves of fresh water encased below layers of sediment in the Mississippi Basin. These groundwater stores are remnants of eras long past, some possibly dating to the last ice age. Exploration and drilling have confirmed the presence of these enormous underground water stores. Their composition sometimes includes traces of ancient DNA, bacteria and unusual chemistry preserved since mammoths roamed the region. In some places, pressure pushes water upward through hidden springs or seeps, subtly altering surface ecosystems. While access to new fresh water seems like a prize, these ancient aquifers are finite and delicate. Overuse or reckless drilling could trigger collapses, cause saltwater intrusion, or release trapped gases. The balance between seeking relief for drought-stricken agriculture and protecting the region's stability is tense. Each intervention must be weighed carefully, as the delicate equilibrium beneath the river could be easily disturbed. This underground ocean is both resource and risk, a stark reminder that what lies unseen below the Mississippi remains as significant as the currents flowing above. Unveiling the Delta's past, clues from the mud. The Mississippi isn't just a river, it's a record keeper. Recent deep sediment coring has revealed a timeline of geological and ecological change stretching back thousands, even millions of years. Layer after layer, the river's mud preserves evidence of ancient forests, wildfires, lost prairies, and now extinct species. Bands of volcanic ash mixed with silt recall distant eruptions that left their mark clear across the continent. Some discoveries hint at catastrophes still poorly understood. Thin layers of dark, carbon-rich black mat, perhaps the residue of great floods or fires, whisper of abrupt climate shifts or massive regional changes. Each core sample, like a page in an epic ledger, tells of periods of growth and abrupt ruin, underscoring just how frequently upheaval, not stability, has shaped the basin. Modern analysis of pollen, charcoal and shell beds paints the delta as ever-changing, a place where coastlines and communities shifted repeatedly long before modern surveying could record the events. As new data emerge, lessons from the past carry increasingly urgent relevance. Change, sometimes rapid and devastating, is normal in the river's story. Will deciphering the past help insulate us from future shocks? Or are these lessons mere preludes to coming chapters, cycles now accelerating beyond familiar bounds? The Relentless Advance of Erosion 
Satellite imagery and on-the-ground measurements now show that erosion is transforming the delta and its wetlands more quickly than ever before. What once took centuries now happens over years or even months. Wetlands equivalent in size to major urban parks vanish season by season. Riverbanks supporting industries and towns collapse overnight, sometimes pulling trees and infrastructure down into muddy water. Evidence of accelerated processes at works. Landforms mapped a generation ago now exist only as spectral remnants, what locals call ghost deltas. These vanished spaces become memory and history, seen fleetingly in outdated maps, photographs and the narratives of displaced families. Infrastructure, bridges, pipelines, water plants, faces growing threat as the ground beneath it destabilizes. Once reliable stretches of farmland face retreating borders and graveyards, once the highest ground are encircled by water or washed away in floods. Amid these changes, an urgent debate plays out. Can human effort, by way of engineered levees, river diversions or sediment pumping, outpace the forces now reshaping the land? Or is this a race already lost? The river's transformable power, destined to make some communities into footnotes of history. Listening for warning signs, the language of the deep. With new technology, scientists have an unprecedented ability to eavesdrop on the river. Seismic sensors and underwater microphones now record a cacophony of unlikely sounds. There are persistent low-frequency hums spread across stretches of the river, pulses that sometimes intensify before known slumps or subsidence. In other locations, brief metallic echoes have been detected, unexamined signals still being studied. Some researchers wonder if these patterns could act as early warning systems, not unlike seismic foreshocks known elsewhere. Native stories remembered the singing of the river as a warning sign. Today, the scientific community doesn't dismiss the possibility that acoustic data may offer clues to impending land shifts or even rare, unpredictable seismic events. At the very least, these sounds underline the dynamic instability beneath the river's placid surface. Are these audible warnings part of a code we can decipher in time, or simply the standard music of a restless river and shifting delta? The truth is still being written, every alert and anomaly another line in the story. How close are we to the edge? As scientists rush to decipher the cracks and policymakers plan ever more ambitious projects to stabilize and restore the landscape, one unsettling fact looms large. In many ways, the pace of change is exceeding our capacity to respond. Communities that have stood for generations now study government disaster maps, reassessing how much time remains before the land is claimed by water, or the ground beneath simply opens up. The oldest residents can recount stories of epic floods and lost towns, but even they marvel at recent stories of riverbanks collapsing overnight and entire fields subsiding after storms. Meanwhile, historians, artists, and archivists move to capture the present while it lasts, photographing landmarks, archiving stories of ancestors, and tracing the outlines of neighborhoods that may soon be only legend. Engineers break ground on new experiments, building movable sediment pipelines, designing living levees, and opening controlled river diversions to reintroduce the chaotic productivity of the river's old regime. These are massive undertakings, expensive, fraught with technical and social hurdles, but time is short, and each year the landscape shifts further out of reach. Is it possible for our collective efforts to keep pace with, let alone halt, the immense geological and hydrological forces at work? Or are these human projects temporary measures? Important, but inevitably outmatched by the power of moving water and the slow march of the continent itself. Some experts forecast hope through adaptation, while others underscore the need for hard choices and honest dialogue about which lands and communities can be saved and which must be let go. As the day ends over the deepening scars of the Mississippi's ancient bed, one truth becomes clear. The earth beneath the heartland is not fixed. The warnings are real, and the cycle of change that shaped this river from the start continues into the uncertain future. The next chapter, collapse, renewal, or transformation, will depend on our willingness to listen to the signals, learn from the past, and act with clarity and resolve. Are we prepared to answer the call as the river's hidden story comes to light? Or will we watch, as generations before did, as nature writes a new and unpredictable chapter for America's heartland? If you followed the fissures, the history, the warnings, and the mysteries, share your thoughts below. Are the cracks beneath the Mississippi a call to action, a final warning before irretrievable transformation?
Or are they reminders that adaptation and resilience remain possible, even in the face of profound change?